to a space well. He's used to a very competent teammate, obviously, yeah. who can who can try to try to keep like the opposing space animals off him if he's getting if he's having his like exactly. his last time exactly. up. Dev is really good. Though. Yeah, Dev is Dev's so good. Um. Yo, the bolt tag though is that that that'll be Adam because um, just to give some background on that, the bolt tag is the tag of uh, my London boy Oolong T. Shout out to him. Tea. You guys have been enjoying his commentary. Some of the one of the best up and coming commentators. In UK, the UK, UK Scar, the UK yeah, Scar, the UK Scar, and all the EU, EU toe for some people. Yeah. That is his tag. Okay, now we're going to see the edge guard from Dev. That's going to be Dev. Quick, quickly taking those stocks. Um, Dev really doing a good job of just. Um, is this, a, oh, this is another wobble? And we're going to have to see Dev yeah. just. Oh, just the wobble getting broken up there. Dev yeah. doing a pretty decent job of um, keeping keeping the other off. Of yeah, he's he's got amazing teams awareness. So as soon as he can, as soon as he notices that um, Alvarash has gotten has gotten hold of one of the other one of the boxes, he can do it. Yeah. He's doing a very good job of holding the other one off, comboing them quite hard. But their DI is not going to be on the best of point when they can see their opponents, yeah, their exactly. teammates being wobbled. Exactly. They're just trying frantically to get over to him. But just like that, Adam and Sgedo bringing him back, taking some of those stocks to real quick. But um. Yeah, this is interesting because obviously, oh, nice running shine there from I think Sigedo is not running the bolt tag right now. That was tentative from Adam actually. He, he didn't. That was. I'm not sure if that was the, the wisest of ideas. Basically, he saw that his teammate was getting um two v one, but he took a moment to work out when he actually wanted to go in rather than just make the situation even worse for his team. Yeah. That was really smart from AD, um, throwing his throwing his opponent in towards Dev, so. He could just wait for Nam to get back on, and Dev could just actually do a decent punish after the opponent. AD Sync bringing with three stocks right now, but he's missing Nam on 100%, so we're going to have to see how, how carefully he plays at this point. Yeah, it's just Adam from Adam and Zagato there, where they are. They both got themselves on the top platform, and both basically had to respect Dev's up tilt, yeah. which meant that, well, Dev was holding both of them off, it gave Alpha Dash time to win uh, through. And yeah, they're still they're still really having trouble with Dev right now. I don't know how much I like what they're doing currently, which is like they're staying quite quite close together, which means yeah. that they're getting as you saw as we just saw there, Dev getting a shine on both of them. And it's now Adam on his own. Yeah, they're actually it seems like they're definitely not used to I will say one thing, the Netherlands they have one good ice climbers player. Yeah, that's Jules. Jules, yeah. And Aside from that, they 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 don't have the most experience in this character yeah. actually, apart from playing against uh, Dowling. Yeah, Dowling and when he when he travels yeah. to Avalon's and also sometimes Alpadash. Oh wow, the back throw into the wobble and Deb's gonna just sit sit back and just give it a give it a little bit of weight. So how's your tournament been so far, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's been fine. Good, good, glad to hear it. So <laughs> that'll be that'll be game one. That Alpadash, I will say, his wobbles are looking they are looking he's, crisp. He's, he's been getting, I think, because it's doubles and um, in doubles you have to be aware of everything going on. So when you get grabbed, you may not be necessarily as um, as aware of just of, of just how much danger you're in with exactly. the Alzheimer's. As soon as you get the grab, perhaps, perhaps you've got your eye for a second on your opponent who's getting who's getting comboed. You're just trying to work out how to get over there. And, and that's all Avadash needs. He isn't even going for wobble setups. He's just going straight into wobbles. That's very true. I mean, that's what you gotta do. Like in a team situation, in a team environment where you can't just have your grab broken up, like it's you know nothing at all. You have really gotta just get straight into it. Yeah. Also, um, you because straight just just taking the scent can happen. It can happen so much easier in doubles. Exactly. Oh, the nana pull in doubles. I have never seen anyone nana pull in doubles. For those of you who don't know what na nana pulling is, it's when um, you desync nana, so she jumps and moves forward with a forward trajectory and doesn't blizzard. That is yeah. a nanopole. Yeah, and quite a sensible idea because uh, Alpadash wanted to put, put something in there to disrupt the uh, 2v1 that exactly. uh, the enemy boys were trying on Dev. And, and just like that, Adam and Sgedo both losing a stock in quick succession right there. Yeah. This is the danger of ICs and doubles as well because um, their smash attacks are so good at just breaking up situations. And even if you hit your teammate, yeah. at least you're giving them enough time to just get some space, get yeah, get the head straight. Yeah, Henry, as an Icy's player yourself, how do you think how do you think this character stacks up in doubles, especially? In doubles I think they're highly underrated. 
you hear people like saying, oh, I don't understand why people play ICs and doubles. And if you get a team like a double ICs, yeah, it's, it's, that's kind of stupid. But when you get them in a, in a good situation with a character that can control um, the air, like if you get a floaty like um, Puff or Peach, then you're in a really good situation. Like you see players in America like Nintendo and Chu teaming with players like DOH. Just really, really solid um, floaty mains. And, and even with Fox, um, they're just, I think they're a really solid character in doubles. I'm just seeing it right now with um, Dev and Oh, that was unfortunate for Dev. Yeah. Went quite out there for an edge guard. Yeah, actually, the the the, the, um, the the larger stage is really. I think that's basically what yeah. I'm thinking going for. However, that is the second time that's happened where Dev has found himself caught at the ledge and seen yeah. the space he reco um, one of the foxes recovering and just gone. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right with the. Um, I'm just gonna really like pushing for a, a larger stage, giving enough room to uh, run around and just really pump, uh, pack the pressure on AD and Dev. Yeah, they, I think this is also. I mean, foxes do like to have a lot of space to move around. Yes, yeah, absolutely, like absolutely. But I think this is also personal preference. I think these guys, these yeah. guys like it when they both have enough space to yeah. make get stuff happen. I was with me, myself and Cheese were just talking during the proper ice game. Fo in Fox and Doubles, they really like to, Fox and Doubles normally like to play, um, especially Double Fox, they like to play the separation game of really explaining them up and just putting pressure on the opponents individually. Like we see right now, super close. smart air dodge there from uh, AD to get back into the stage, but he's going to have to see what this edge guard from Skato is. That's Nana gone. This is... That, that, is, that, was, that was some nice awareness. Yeah. Having played these gentlemen um, in pools yesterday, they have, they have very good um, combo airs. Yeah. Especially with back airs, they love using back airs to um, Yeah. It's almost like the perfect team's combo move, because it, it not because even if you get the reverse hit, it knocks them just into a good situation where you can get a decent combo with your partner. Right, so that, that was a that was a very convincing second yes, game. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Back. So one one right now. What I imagine we're gonna see next is we're probably gonna see I can only imagine a Yoshi's ban because they don't they don't want a small stage where any any stray down smash or forward smash from Ices will kill either of them or send them into a precarious position where they could get edge guarded by Dev. I could maybe see a stadium pick from Dev and AD, but we're gonna have to see. I'm genuinely curious as to where we're gonna go now. Sorry, but wasn't what wasn't game one on Yoshi's or am I am I am I going mad? Maybe it was on Battlefield. I think I might be going mad. Either was way, it on um, Battlefield? I don't know. Yeah, remember. I think it was on Battlefield. My, um, if I, I think the issue with Pokemon is that Alpadash is going to die really easily to Fox Up Smash. And that's Pokemon very is. true. That's very true. Um, Ice Climbers at a, yeah, a, a significant way where you I, can't get combo. They, they could try FD. Um, yes, maybe. Because between the lasers and ground game of Ice Climbers, they could do a very good yeah, job. Yeah, the lockdown would be mm, significant. Yeah. But then again, we might see Adam and Scale have like a really. Are we going to a Yoshi's pick? Yeah, we're Yoshi's. Oh, wow. Good okay. shout, good shout. My bad. Nah, so, no. It's okay. Alright. So, what we're, we're going to see now is going to see a lot of AD controlling the ground. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the ice is up there as well. It's really good at holding that, that move top line. So yeah. It juggles and it has. Um, it, it's got a really interesting hitbox. Um, it stays up. It actually lingers for a fair while and it's super nice. But right now, it looks like. I don't know, it's looking like a, a very even game. Um, Nana's obviously missing now. But um, Dev, uh, Dev is going for these really, really uh, deep edge guards. But. Yeah, that's actually a trait of Dev, of Dev in general. He's He's got amazing awareness and is a super smart player, but sometimes he he, uh, he, is, he is known to make like very, uh, very like unnecessary as he is. Yeah. Just by occasionally getting caught out in his movement or just misjudging something. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. Trade there and AD getting the worst part of it. Um. Yeah, this is looking again rough for um, yeah. rough for the rough for the UK boys right now because the belay into the back air I think that was. Oh no, I think AD's going for a short hop forward air there rather than the full hop. Yeah, this is yeah, this is not this basically is... Dev has gotten Dev has gotten himself shine spiked just where he could have. I yeah, think. if anything, this is looking like a Dev's edge yeah. Dev's edge yeah, himself yeah, in this point. Yeah. yeah. And look at look at oh, the um, wow. that was from Segedo, I believe. Yeah. Segedo doing, doing an excellent job of just even though he, he knows that like the rest of the stage is 
you know, a bit of a, a, bit of a war zone. He just did some, did some very solid edge guarding on yeah. the left corner. Daz really going to have to sort of, I don't know, maybe tear down the unnecessary uh, risks in his play. But even as I say that... This is looking like a steamroll right now. Okay? Yeah. Oh my god, the shines. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, straight back at Catching. Okay, this, is, this is power, by the way, and NTC might have made it back. Yeah. But, but I, I, like, I like I was getting you there as well. He was like, well, Adam's still got uh, uh, most of his stocks. Plenty of time to just sort of like... Now this is looking pretty dark. Oh, and that's it. Just oh, is it like only, that. only best of three? Yep. Only best wow, of three. Wow, okay. So we're, what, losers round two? Or... Miss.